Panasonic is one of Tesla's biggest battery suppliers and Tesla have in the past used Panasonic cells for its Tesla home energy storage Powerwall products, which have been very, very popular. Tesla has sold more than 100,000 of them. Now though, Panasonic have their own home battery. Should you consider one? Well, here are the details of Panasonic's home battery. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. If you've subscribed recently, great to have you. Welcome. If you haven't yet, well, you can do so. And then you'll get our videos in your feed. We do usually seven or eight videos per day. Panasonic North America have revealed their new generation of their Evervolt home battery. Now, Evervolt is just the name of the product. It's like saying Powerwall. It's actually a Panasonic battery pack. It's an modular energy storage device that can be combined. So you can actually take one of these batteries and add it to others. You can actually add up to six battery packs together for a total maximum of just over a 100 kilowatt hour size battery pack. The battery has support for both DC and AC, and this flexibility makes the battery a good fit for both new and existing solar installations. The storage system includes a hybrid inverter and lithium ferrophosphate battery. It also includes the Smartbox, a home energy management device, and each battery is a modular pack in increments of 4.6 kilowatt hours of usable energy, offering up to 18.4 kilowatt hours per battery. So basically, if you buy the 18.4 kilowatt hour pack, you're actually getting four of the 4.6s put together in the one pack. Up to four Evervolt batteries can be connected to one smart box, achieving up to 30 kilowatt of power and 72 kilowatt hours of usable energy. Up to 15.2 kilowatts of solar modules, by the way, so Panasonic has their own solar panels for this system as well, can be connected to three maximum power point trackers. The battery offers up to 7.6 kilowatt of continuous backup power in a single battery. The battery's 160 amp AC current helps keep more appliances running running continuously and it can use both 120 volt 240 volt with no transformer needed it's rated for 6000 cycles in the terms of its lifespan although there's a bit of a problem here and I'll mention that in a second and it has a 98% peak efficiency rating which is pretty impressive efficiency and 97.5% CEC weighted efficiency it also enables 200% PV oversizing what does that mean? Well, it means that solar capacity can exceed inverter capacity by up to 200%. Now, one of the issues with this battery is, it sounds great. However, Evervolt's battery warranty is a bit lower than industry standards. It only guarantees your battery will retain 60% of its storage capacity at the end of the warranty, while most competitors offer at least 70% battery retention. However, Panasonic, of course, as you know, is a good battery company, and they've got a lot of experience after manufacturing batteries for Tesla in particular for many years. So you can probably trust this product will work well and work for a long time. And Panasonic will be very likely to actually honor the warranty. Panasonic's newest battery storage solution is bigger and more powerful than their previous option. And solarreviews.com included it as one of their best energy storage systems of 2023. If you wanna see what those are, I'll put a link in the description below and you can check those out. How much does it cost? But you can expect to pay around $15,000 to $20,000 for the Evervolt battery pack, the big version. But the total cost will vary depending on the how many batteries you install, what your installer charges, what model you choose, um, whether it's what it's connected to, how it's all put into place, what what's needed for installation, etc. It's kind of complicated. Although that cost is potentially prohibitive for many people, there are various state, local utility and federal incentives that can apply to battery storage and investing in energy independence will be worthwhile or could be worthwhile when the neighborhood's power goes out and your home is the only one with the lights on. And keep in mind, if you live in a really sunny place and you have a lot of solar panels, some people do, and you drive electric cars, that's when getting battery packs such as a Tesla Powerwall or one of these batteries from Panasonic could make a lot of sense. You could save a lot of money on charging your electric cars. And it's one way for you to store energy from your panels as well. So if you're wondering what the battery chemistry is, well, surprisingly, it's actually lithium iron phosphate. So lithium ferrophosphate is basically the same as saying a lithium iron phosphate battery. So it's not a ternary pack. It's not an NMC chemistry battery pack, meaning it should last even longer. It's kind of surprising when you think that not many people are aware of the fact that Panasonic does make LFP. 
batteries. And as you can see, the key reason that Panasonic are doing it is because not only are those battery packs cheaper, but they last longer, which is ideal for long-term energy solutions where the weight doesn't really matter. So I hope that answers some of your questions about these battery packs and whether or not it's worth considering them over, Panas over a Tesla Powerwall. What you really need to do is just to go to Tesla, get your quote done, go to a supplier for a Panasonic system, get your quote done, and then you can compare the two. Remember though, software does come into play. If you're gonna be trying to send energy back into the grid and actually possibly join a Tesla virtual power plant where you can make money out of your system, well, that is a situation where the Tesla might be the better option for you. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.